Hi, welcome to another edition of Coaching with Caleb Presley. I'm Caleb Presley. To my left here we have Mr. Only Tom O'Brien would punt it to me, Ryan Switzer. Ryan Switzer, how are you doing? I'm doing great, man. It's, uh, it's an honor to be on the show. Yeah, it's good to have you on. You're very special. And it's not just because I think he's special. All these people I'm about to list off, I had to write them down because the list is so extensive. They think he's an All-American. ESPN.com, FWAA, Athlon, USA Today, CBS, Sports.com, SportsIllustrated.com. This list is exhausting, Ryan. Very long. Yeah, what's up? How has life been as an All-American? Uh, hasn't changed much, um, other than the fact people think I'm an All-American. I just uh, we don't think it. You technically <laughs> are. Okay, well uh, right. they think I am, or they they know I am. I just you know it's the same old Ryan. Same old Ryan. I can attest to this. Even though that I am a coach now, Ryan and I have been friends since he came in. Uh, in fact, last year when I was a player, I spent Christmas at his at was at your aunt and uncle's house mm -hmm. in Charlotte. So obviously we were at the Belk Bowl game. And then uh, after training camp this year, we went to eat with his dad. His dad's a very nice guy. I know him very well. And he took us out to eat. We had a great lunch, just me, Ryan, and him. And during this um, lunch, we had a very unique conversation, kind of talking about all of our childhoods, this type of thing. His dad said, I can pinpoint the, the time in Ryan's life when I knew he was special. And he said, this time was... We're in, you know, put yourself in West Virginia, rural West Virginia, right? Mm -hmm. And Ryan's in the backyard playing football, just as any young kid would, uh, scoring imaginary touchdowns, doing the whole thing, probably emulating some player of some sort, right? Was well, dad's watching from the window, doesn't want to, uh, doesn't want to get himself involved. However, he sees laying on the ground in the grass is a rake he had left out from earlier in the day, and he goes, "Oh my gosh, Ryan's about to." Well, sure enough, what do you have it? Ryan runs into the into the, the rake, and it pops up, as rakes will do, and hits him right in the shoulder. Normal people at this time, at that age of seven or eight, would start to cry, okay? Ryan didn't cry. I probably wouldn't have cried myself, honestly, but I would have removed the rake. Ryan, this is when his dad knew he was different. Ryan went back 10 yards, got a full head of steam, ran as fast as he possibly could. Ryan can attest to this, he was there for the story ran right back into the rake, and it popped right back up and hit him. Ryan is a determined guy. <laughs> His dad, out of that story, took that Ryan was a very special, determined guy. Um, I, on the other hand, just took out of it that you're special. <laughs> yeah? Would you yeah, agree to that? It was, uh, it was, a, it was a difficult point in my, uh, my childhood, that, yeah. those days, playing by myself and yeah. running into rakes. Running into rakes and then doing it again. again. Yeah. yeah. Some say, like, uh, if you do this one thing over and over again and expect different results, I think it might have been Albert Einstein, you're mentally crazy. We won't go into, we won't go into that now. But the whole thing, the whole uh, conversation we had with your dad sparked in my mind, what was Ryan's childhood, childhood like that raised him into this All-American, as we have previously discussed, you know? And, and I was thinking, I said, Ryan, I bet he would have been – a, a very hard person uh, to be around because you're so competitive and you're so uh, driven and determined. You know what I'm saying? And so I said, I bet he would be a very hard person to Christmas shop for. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. I bet you tried to return everything. Oh, man. No. Um, you know, Christmas is my favorite time of year. I think you knew that. Um, so, yeah. so people Christmas shopping for me. Uh, you know, I, I took it uh, with a grain of salt, whether I liked it or not, and I uh, kind of yeah. tried to suck it up a little bit. Right. The joke there was that you tried to return everything. <laughs> right over the head it went. Okay, Ryan, so we're in West Virginia. Look, there's no one there. West Virginia, no one there, except for Ryan Switzer and a lot of other good athletes, I, I think. Okay. <laughs> Were there, was there anyone, seriously, that you wanted to emulate, uh, grow up to be like athletically, you know, when you got bigger, that's the person you wanted to be like. Yeah, as a, as a young kid, uh, I wanted to be like uh, like Quincy Wilson. I remember first playing football. Um, my first year out, I wore number three because uh, he was he was number three. He played running back for West Virginia. Right. And so, were you disappointed when you actually never did get much bigger? Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't grow much. Um, he was about six. Actually, he wasn't about six. But he's he may be a little taller than me, however, but uh, 
Yeah, it was a little disappointing that I didn't reach my full height. I feel like I had two or three more inches that I could get out. But you think you still have it in you, the two or three inches? I think they're somewhere, but they just <laughs> they just don't they don't come out. The they're, they're, you have the two or three inches, and maybe we'll expect them later in Ryan's career is what he was getting at there. Okay, now actually, I did talk to your dad about this one other thing. And he said that not only were you a nuisance to the family sometimes just because you're a competitive person, you're a driven person, a determined person, I think special would be the correct word, right? He said sometimes you were an actual health threat to your family. Yeah. He said that whenever there was like a, a big flu, right, or a big cold going on at his elementary school, that every single time that you caught it, you took it all the way back to the house. I got that one. <laughs> yeah, he got it. He, he got the joke. Very good, Ryan. <laughs> all right, listen. This is Ryan Switzer. He's all American. He's a great guy. He's going to have a great season this year. How, unfortunately, we're out of time here on uh, Go Heels TV. I'm Caleb Presley, live from Larry Land, where even Ryan Switzer is tall enough to ride the rides. Would you like to join us, Coach Fedora? <laughs> We're doing our show. All right. Wait one minute while Coach Fedora joins us. Pull up a chair. Go ahead. Well, then this messed up our whole floor. <laughs>